rising to the occasion. I'm dedicated to make this possible. Go the extra mile. You know that true satisfaction only comes from playing at your highest level. Do the unscalable things. This is what's asked of you. Oh wow, can you believe it? It's finished. <laughs> it's finally finished. Made it, made it, made it, made it, made it. Hast du schon was zu sehen? Nein, ich muss jetzt erstmal speichern. Mhm. Aber das wird mir jetzt mal dauern, aber dann gibt es auch irgendwann was zu sehen. Alright. Friends, the yesterday's edit is finally done. Ah. <laughs> okay. I needed to move my body. I was like, I think, sitting for 10 hours on this edit. But I'm very happy about yesterday's video and it is so interesting. But first, did you watch yesterday's Instagram story? As my friend Marcella beautifully puts it in her TED talk. Rising to the occasion. Rising to what is really needed. Yes, it will not be easy. Yes, it will require a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of creativity substantial part of my being and I'm willing to put that in in order to wholeheartedly serve the emergence of the more beautiful world by inspiring, educating, allowing creators to join me on my journey super authentically each and every day. There you have it. See you in the next episode really going all in and raising my personal level of service, my level of personal level of contribution, my personal level of dedication through really making these vlogs, these behind the scenes documentaries like on a frequency that really challenges me like today. Yeah, it's already noon and I was until now working on yesterday's edit. In two hours I will have a coaching session. We're gonna have lunch now and I need to do my nap i'm doing currently three naps a day but let's talk more about that in one of the next videos so time is scarce today and still i'm dedicated to make this possible and to really stretch myself and there is this really interesting dynamic that things that really stretch us in the process oftentimes feel really uncomfortable and really like, ah, oh, I don't want to do that, ah, oh, mm -hmm. discomfort, discomfort, discomfort. But when we go through that, they feel so great. The minute I finished yesterday's edit, I felt such a deep sense of pride of having created this 28 minute, really high quality piece of art. I was like, ah, oh, yes. This gave me a sense of satisfaction that no amount of cheap, quick online content that you just post on, uh, on, uh, on TikTok that is forgotten uh, two days later can give you. Really leaning towards your sacred work, seeing the work that you do as something so sacred that you cannot not do it and you stretch yourself to the utmost limits of your capacity because you know the true satisfaction only comes from playing at your highest level and at the same time you know that this is what's asked of you like leaning towards this custodianship identity leaning towards being a steward of the new earth requires everything that we have and everything that we are so that's my invitation for you to check in with yourself. Do you feel stretched right now? Do you feel stretched to the like limits of your capabilities? If not, it's time for change.
Fresh sheets, a clean tent. Welcome back at home. That's where we live. Oh, so much stuff. And many coconuts. business coaching with uh, the amazing Marcella. Shout out to you. This day is characterized by an intense fire and this fire is arising inside myself because I made the commitment to do these videos on a daily basis. This created a profound energy. And this reminds me of the one book that started like my whole journey into asking myself the question, what do I want to do with this life? Like this book was the 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss, classic. In this book, he, he paints this image of the, of the old, white, overweight dude in the red BMW who's like, climbing up the corporate ladder, earning a lot of money, but in, deep in his art is super bored. And that's why he gravitates towards all sorts of like addictions, food and like spying status symbols in order to cover up for this lack of adventure, but deep down being really like numb. And he calls this the adventure deficit syndrome. But if we set ourselves something like what Jim Collins calls a b hack, a big, hairy, ambitious goal, something that really f frightens us and at the same time sets so much energy in motion because we're like, oh my God, if I could do this, if I could climb the Mount Everest, if I could run my first marathon, if I could build a business like this, if I could create my dream community village in my favorite place on earth, like, if things like these are at reach, whew, whew, like, this transforms us. This transforms us. And simultaneously, if we are playing at the limits of our capacity, other people perceive that. Like, at the end of the coaching, like Marcella asked me, like, how are things going? And she's one of the one of the people that I absolutely see in those spaces that I'm that I'm envisioning because she, she's really like stretching herself too, um, and playing at the at the at the fullest of her capacity, and that's why it resonates with her. And she said, like, over the past days, I like, checked your account again, and I'm watching the videos, and like these are the people I want to attract. But I, but I can I only can but but I'm only able to attract these kind of people if I'm doing something that is in resonance where the energy where the frequency is like connecting and if i'm just like playing it safe and doing my 80 percent thing then of course i will attract people who are doing the same thing so the simplest thing you can do in order to energize up your life is to raise the stakes and to do something that simultaneously excites you tremendously whilst also scaring you if you're at this sweet spot Congratulations. And if not, maybe that's your invitation to do that. Hmm. 
Jill, my dear. She is from Bali. Thank you, thank you, thank you for receiving my gift. Thank you for downloading my book, Gaia's Custodians. Really means so much to me for you to be diving into this piece of art that is so close to my heart. I'm very curious to see what might emerge for you during the process. And if there's anything on your path where you sense that I could be of support with, whatever that is, if it's not something that I just say lightly, it's really like really the truth. You can contact me anytime. I'm here, I'm available, I'd love to support you. With that being said, I wish you nothing but tremendous joy while diving into Gaia's Custodians. Sending love from Bali. Friends, this little app is called Bonjoro and it lets you send individualized welcome messages. This video goes out directly to Michelle's inbox. Send. Confirmation. This is what I mean by all in. This is what I mean by, by the extra mile. This is what I mean by like putting everything out there. If your clients, your community, your customers, your donors, whatever kind of people you are working with in whichever settings, if they truly matter to you, go the extra mile. Do the unscalable things. This is what has the potential to bring profound healing into this world. Like the amount of feedback that I receive from people getting those messages and the intensity, like no nicely built automation can create that. This is human. This is like, this is what we need in these times where everybody tries to scale, where everybody tries to automate. Like doing the things that don't scale, really saying hi, really investing the time. With that being said, if you haven't downloaded my book, Guys Custodians yet, the link is down there. Would love to give you this gift of mine. That is so important for me. <laughs> All right, friends, the sun has already set. Time to call it a day. Thank you for watching today's episode. There are two movie recommendations that I want to uh, gift you with to end this off in order to be able to integrate the spirit of today's episode, integrate our inner athlete, integrate this all-in mentality, like really crushing all the perceived barriers in our small minds and really be blown away by what is possible in order to the develop a broader perspective and really be able to choose our destiny. First one is 14 Peaks. Tells the story of Nims Perja, a high altitude climber who set a world record climbing the 14 8,000 meter plus peaks in the world in less than seven months. Well, the record before was around six or seven years. Incredible. I love this documentary. And then the second one is King Richard. King Richard tells the story of the father of Serena and Venus Williams, the two most gifted and most successful female tennis players in the history of the sport. How he as a dad from an early age on developed a plan in order to support them to greatness and doing all that as a family and involving like his five daughters. They were all like, it's uh, like really a family on a mission. That's the spirit of the movie. I love it deeply. With that being said, I wish you a beautiful day. And I'll see you tomorrow. And it's so nice to be able to say that. Like this playground, each and every day a white canvas where I can just play and explore and do whatever feels right and whatever needs to go out there into this world each and every day again and again and again and again. Ah, oh, this liberates my creative soul. Maybe tomorrow we're gonna see the land again. Would be nice. After two days of absence, 
I feel a strong calling to see the land again tomorrow. And maybe, who knows, we will already receive news from the lawyer. She's currently checking all the documents. And if everything is all right, then we can acquire this paradise. Let's hope for the best. See you tomorrow. Sending love from Bali.